Uh, we are live here at the Brown Hoist. And who is it? One and Adam. Oh my goodness, two, two of our great interviews in, uh, in time past. And Adam, we knew we were going to come back and check what's going on here. Thanks for uh, hosting again. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it is crazy energetic. If you're here in person, you can feel the energy of this room. And we're going to be zipping in and checking out people's drawings. We're going to be checking out, uh, I think we might go down, was it? Oh, yeah. At the cyber company down? Cyber is flowing. In a bit, and uh, we, we appreciate you joining. We did not, we did not give away the Brown Boys giveaway yet, because the people share tonight, they get to get into the drawing as well. So we we appreciate that you guys hosting and and we encourage the watchers to share as well. Yeah, sounds good. Well, we got people joining live and uh, we appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is our biggest ballroom event to date. Oh yeah. Yeah. How many how many people would you guess are in here? Juan, you said we had like eighty oh, yeah, least artists. Eighty artists, at least eighty artists. I don't know. We had a number of uh, walk-ups and. Uh, Audience members, so maybe 150. And, and what are the what are the groups that are here, Juan? It's the uh, Doctor Sketchy, which is a franchise created by an female illustrator. It's kind of cabaret life drawing. It was done. It was started by Molly Cabot over in New York City. And it's actually a franchise all over the country. Doctor Sketchy. Dr. Sketchy Akron. And this is Dr. Sketchy Cleveland. Um, there's no. the, and, and we know Dr. Sketchy because they're wearing oh, lab yeah. coats. Yeah, lab coats. And then we have Murray Hill Group, which is my group. They're over 30 year old electronic group. There's a new group that started in uh, the Hildebrandt building called the Atelier, uh, Walton Avenue Atelier. So they're here. And the last group is the stu illustration studios from the Institute of Art. And then, then I also heard. And I also heard that there's some um, just people that. Yeah, are, we call them the free radicals. Just free radicals? Like people that wanted to come and draw. Just jump in. Love it. Love it. Thanks for that. There are so many. I was trying to park, and there's like no parking. So, overflow parking, courtesy of the Brown Hoist Cider Guys, is on East 43rd, on the, either side of East 43rd, on the south side of St. Clair. Gotcha. Well, thank you guys for joining us. We see that you're out there. Robert Morris, who works, who's an art teacher, is joining us. I see Delaney, I see Steven, I see a bunch of folks jumping in. So, we, we got a lot, of, a lot to see, a lot of eye candy. So, thanks for uh, hosting us again. And again, if you share, yeah, the opportunity for a brown hoist giveaway, right? Great. Thanks, Adam, for having us, and thanks, Juan, for the, the background. It is, Beth, what is it? It is August 2000. Yeah, it's August 2023. It's uh, no pressure, August 26th. August 26th. August 26th. And it's summertime yeah. here in Cleveland, Ohio, and we are at Drawn and Quartered. Yes. Yep. At the Brown Hoist. Drawn and Quartered 12. Yes. Uh, yep. Drawn and Quartered 12. And we've got four teams competing. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Juan cool. gave us a little bit of a background about Good. those teams. And right now they're doing the interlocking. Um, part of the competition, so the models are interlocked, it's really close, my eyes are probably crossing. Oh, you're good. So the models are over there. This is like big time and while you're wrestling. Giving the artist tips on their drawings. Drop some tips in the jar in the vestibule. Come up and show your work. I see lab coats here. Doctor Dr. Dr. Sketchy, right? <laughs> Seven minutes to go on this one. Next will be character 
picture. There's a lot of people here watching as well. All the artists making their money on Stephen's point in the summer. This is your event. This is the long post, right? Yeah. I'm not sure how long, but they've been going since before we got here. So there's Dr. Sketchy and Lars Murray Hill and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artist. Audience members, Adam will be posing for our caricature, but then he's going to give one more tour in the building at 9.30. This is a live drawing competition. From our understanding, it's the only place in the entire world that has such a... So Adam, yep. tell me a little bit about this building. What is going on here? 7.30 to 10, yeah. All right, we're going to go in here a little bit about what's going on here with the Brown Hoist. So, we have time for a little bit of history? All right. So the central portion of this building was only built in 1880. Um, Alexander Ephraim Brown, with the help of his father, started the Industrial Brown Hoist Company. He designed and manufactured cable operated hoisting equipment, what we now think of as cranes. Revolutionized the shipping industry, which up until that point had been all crew guys with shovels and wheelbarrows. Can you imagine that unloading a whole you know, ship full of unloading a whole ship full of uh, iron and water that way. And then they came along with these cable operated cranes just to scoop it out. Um, they did very well for themselves, such that when 10, 10 years later, in 1900, when there was a fire which destroyed their factory, they decided, well, we'll just build that bigger. So they picked up their office building, put it on steam-powered rollers, rolled it one foot a day, while everyone kept coming into work, from Hamilton Avenue to the new location here on St. Clair. Added the east and west wings, uh, and the large vaults and loading docks off to the north. Uh, and they, then they built the much, much larger factory, which you can see. Mostly, you know, during daylight hours, you can see uh, this window. Uh, still has the brown waist name across the top. Um, then for a while, the building was owned by an electrical and equipment manufacturing company. Uh, and then in 1991, uh, a group of lawyers purchased it. We've been going to the place for 30 years. Um, one of the original tenants uh, came to take a tour this evening, so that was fantastic. Rob uh, Shorn. Um, and then they sold the building to me in uh, about a week into March of this year. And thus begins a new chapter that's home to an intentional, inclusive, interdisciplinary, creative community. So I hope you will all join us. Yes. So back in 1902, the center of this building was put on the CR rollers and wheeled one for the day from the in this building, you guys may recognize this hat and the hair of Lauren Nodgers. So there's a familiar face. <laughs> Super talent. <laughs> We are at Tron and Quarter down in the Brown Hoist Building, 2023. This is the 12th. 
is the 12th. And we're in a competition, live competition of uh, portrait and life drawing artists here in Cleveland. There's some long poses and some short pose competitions going on right now. And Judy, I see out there. I hope you're doing well. We're just trying to capture the energy. If you guys were here, you'd realize it's kind of electric. And Beth, thank you for jumping in and giving us some background. We got here at the Brown Hoist building. So, ten blocks. There's some long poses over on this side. Sneak in and try to get a peek at some of this in process work. The first floor of art vault is the library. So, yes. So, the lawyers stand up to the law library just in time here next to the law and make the law books on speed. Um, but it looks ostentatious and beautiful. Uh, and we are in the process of transitioning to recordings and other things. Uh, so I hope you can uh, come have the night with us sometime. Uh, um, please follow us. Uh, we are the Brown Points on Instagram and Facebook and thebrownpoints.com. Uh, memberships, uh, you can sign up for memberships and hang out with us. I see that there's a lot of folks watching here, and for good reason. Looking over the shoulder at the long folders art. Got some markers. Perfect. And that is time. Let's give a round of applause for Adam, please. A round of applause for our amazing model. For Adam, I'm going to be the next we're doing the character. But first, we've got to score this art because it's the dumbest thing we can think of doing. We love doing that. So we're going to go with uh, Walton sure Avenue. That means you're first Walton Avenue. Oh, okay. You don't mind if I just look over your shoulder, do you? This is great work. You mind if I take a peek? Let's and stream your... Yeah, of course. Dad, if you're watching, this is for you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
This looks great. You mind if I come in on this? share this video, you get a chance at Brown Hoist. 
I don't want to walk in front of anybody. Three from the judge. These judges are professional artists. They're objective. They're, uh, this is like science. Larry, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah. I was, uh, you know what, I, uh, I try to eat a little, a little less than I used to, but uh, things are good. How are you been? Have you, have you uh, participated in any of these competitions? No. No. Uh, but you're here to support it, and, you know, we have uh, a picture that you drew of our dog Bowie on our mantle, framed in our mantle. I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much. I wouldn't expect to hear anything. That's Bowie. 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 Like Bowie. Bowie. <laughs> All right. I understand you have some inside information on this event. Yes, I do. <laughs> Tell us about where it all began. It all began when I was a high school teacher, art department, Chardon High, and I was extremely jealous of the sports teams because they had a lot of excitement around everything they did. They worked hard, they got an audience and cheering, and the art department, nothing. So That's not fair. I didn't think it was fair. So I thought, hmm, I know a lot of artists, and I'm part of an art drawing group, and I know there's another art drawing group. I wonder who's better. So I thought I'd like make them draw against each other and then what and then the third and then a fourth group came together and Juan Chiarte and I started brainstorming along with Tim uh, Heron and Tim I don't know how to pronounce his last name and we came up with trophies Jack Watt uh, created these beautiful ceramic trophies and the first place winner gets one the second place winner gets the other and my team Murray Hill is going down in flames tonight to a new group called the uh, Walton Avenue Atelier. Oh. We've never not been among one first or second place, but these guys are so good. So it's working magnificently. We had 11 events in a row. We'd ask, we begged people for a free space because we didn't want to monetize it in any way. So everything's a donation. Uh, and we got people to donate their space to us, and they got maybe something from something here. COVID, nothing, nothing, nothing. And now we're here at the uh, Brown Place Building. Fabulous. Square room. My dream room is square. And, and this is the dream room. Dream room. The uh, ultimate dream room is a boxing ring, so mm. the audience can watch. But this is very, very nice. So and, and the groups are the groups are competing they for are. big stakes, which is bragging rights, I think. It's of bragging rights. Bragging rights is bragging rights. And we have the long pose over on this side, right? The long pose is those that are more serious and they want to get some more development. And that will be each person can submit for judgment and it'll be an aggregate score per team. And it'll be 40% uh, of the total number. And my uh, expert scorekeepers will do the numbers. They got a spreadsheet. Actually, there's like a PhD uh, accountant. Accountant, yeah, take good care. I, yeah, I mean, she, this is, yeah. It. She's an international money person. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. So, so we got the long pose, and then we have the craziness. And I understand this is the 10 minute caricature. Yes. Over and here. And of course, we're buttering up the corner uh, of the building. Adam is the owner of the building, and so he's going to get his uh, caricature, and I hope everyone will give him a caricature. I'll actually prompt the Enterprise MC, Michael Salinger, to do so, because this space is so awesome, and we want everyone to find out about it in these creative space. And I'll tell you what, I mean, there was hardly a parking spot. I mean, it was packed. The road is packed. Look at this. There's probably a hundred and some people. What are you guessing? A hundred? A hundred-ish? 
Maybe more. Maybe more? Maybe 140. 140? I think 140. Move up. And we've got, uh, and we're going to have thousands during this virtual. <laughs> That history. All right, we're gonna squeeze in. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, tag Deb because this was her idea way back in the day. So it was really cool to get her, her input. There's a lot of folks that are watching, grabbing a glass of wine, just checking it out. As you remember, Adam is here. We're squeezing in. There were so many pieces of artwork that it doesn't feel like it's slow. I mean, it's absolutely fast-paced. Yeah. One, one minute, 40 seconds left on the portraits. We have scouts from Sierra Leone and Disneyland in the audience to look at these caricatures. This guy's drawing like Michelangelo did caricatures. I don't know how that's going to go over. Ten minutes. Come in, dear teachers. Fifty seconds. Fifty seconds. <laughs> yeah. So many different takes. Ten minutes is not a lot of time. Ten minutes is like a flash. <laughs> Here. Time! It's time! Alright! Round of applause for Adam! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you! Alright, let's see. This time, let's go with Murray Hill Group, Dr. Sketchy, CIA, Walton,
we go. Duck these points. We're going to show it to the whole audience. Nah, that was the duck these points. And now we have Walton Avenue. Walton Avenue. Where are you guys at? Come on, come on. This is a special team. Here we go. A three, a three, and a two from the cartoonist. Two from the cartoonist. All right, up into the air. Let's see it. your opinion on this pose? Um, one can only dream. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys are keeping score for this big official competition. Yes. Yes. Alright, we, we will. are nearly empty, but no one has come up no one has come to, up? Uh, to con convince us to you guys try to these numbers. Did you try to cite them? Shortly, right after oh. the event, right? That's right, that's right. The cider. Uh, is there any audience members that want to take a tour? If you want to take a tour, Adam's giving another tour of the building. See you in 10 minutes. This is a 
whole different perspective. The star to the hand there their work to another artist on their team. How uncomfortable is this? Is this uncomfortable? Uh, honestly, I'm very comfortable. These chairs slay. They're very good. Yeah. How about ha how about having somebody's artwork handed to you to finish? I don't mind that much. Mm. It's better than doing my own art. <laughs> Over here at the long pose.
You may remember the Mrs. Miller, Beth Miller. Also, uh, let's do a round of Tuesday, seven. Seven. Of of this is more than I expected. Oh, they're absolutely yes, insane. They're risking their lives for art. <laughs> Check them out on YouTube. There's cameras, there's crowd. There's artists. There's not enough air moving. It's not, it's not cool in the front of the air, but the art keeps it completely worth it. The art is heating this place up. <laughs> videos of a, an Alaska family, so I post videos of her too. Um, and then Mo has an Instagram that's mo.travelin. And that um, has a lot of our like fitness videos on there as well. Whoever can post those, we'll put your uh, name in the drawing. <laughs> one minute and 41 seconds. One minute and 39 seconds to go. One minute and 39 seconds. Oh, and we have one more to go this time. We'll be oh, no. Walton CIA Murray Sketchy. Walton CIA Murray Sketchy and a free radical mixed in there somewhere. Long Pose wants to know how much longer. Long Pose has got, after this one, 10 minutes. And we've got 10 minutes. we got one more 10 minute Thank event. Thank you, 10 minutes. We've been destroying it after Thank talking you. about 15 minutes. No. 17 minutes left. Alright, long pose. 10 minutes.
there was someone to ring a bell in a church. He goes, oh, I'll apply for that job, right? So, so he, he walks to the directory to this to this church, and he says, hey, I want to do your bell ringing job. And the, uh, the, the priest says, uh, well, you got no arms. How's this going to work? He says, you got to give it a shot at this. Give me a try, right? So, so he says, okay, they walk up the four flights of steps to the bell tower, and this guy, he stands in the back of the corner, he just runs as best he can, bam, hits his head on the bell, bing. And the priest is like, just, he's just mortified. He can't believe it. Are you out of your mind? He said, no, I can do it. He said, well, you know, you got to ring up once at 1 o'clock, two times at 2, 3. Are you going to do this every day? He said, he said I can do it. You know, we cannot discriminate again. He said, all right, so I'll give you a two-week probationary period. So this guy, he's ringing the bell all the time during the day. He's running, bam, bam, bam. And his face just looks like hamburger, right? He's just... But he's digging it, because he's pulling in the big bucks now, you know, he's loving it. He's, so two weeks go by, and the, uh, the priest goes, well, you know, you haven't missed a beat. I guess, I guess they got to give you the job. And he was like so excited. The very next time he went to ring the bell, this is going to be the best ring I've ever done. And he gets back, and he's running pretty hard this time. And, and he goes to ring the bell, and he slips, and he falls out the window, crashes to the ground. A pile of bones and flesh. It's a complete mess. It's unrecognizable. The people gather around him, and a woman asks the man next to her, she said, Oh, do you know who that was? He goes, I don't know his name, but his face rings the bell. No! We're asking for an odd angle, so I think it might even be a good idea if the artist were to move around, maybe get underneath them, get her eyes up, get, get that odd angle, do whatever you need to get that odd angle. This is a 10 minute draw, and I'm going to take 10 minutes off from yelling at you guys. This is going to be a drawing with the, with the MC being quiet for as long as he can. It may not have to be that long, we'll see. All right? Give me 10 minutes on the clock. Ready? Go. Wait, I wasn't ready. Odd <laughs> angle, right? By the way, I stole that joke. That was a joke that P.B. Herman told on David Letterman. And so in honor of the great P.B. Herman. Paul Rubens. Artists are on the floor. It's a gimbal. Gimbal? Yeah, it's got this gyroscope. It allows for you to get some nice cool looming and it flies in the sense of what do they run? Tires. Like. So when we call time on the short pose over here, that's it for the long pose, people. Uh, come on the long pose. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. I just noticed it. You're a true artist. No, for real. I'm drinking so many people in different directions. I like the person pulling you. You're like, you're supposed to drink token time. That's the point. I'm trying to fit in and perform and look professional in this. The illustration department sink that the teenagers use constantly. I like that. A lot, a lot of great action to it, man. That's great. Odd angle. Let's we'll have a little acknowledgement for Paisley, our long pose model. She can see over here. All the in the corner, doing the hard work, not, not, not being noticed by the rest of us around here. Just, just giving her 
chance for free movement in the honor of your art. I figure for drawing from an odd angle, we should probably. Artists, before we decide who wins this thing and you're all going crazy and losing your minds or either crying your eyes out because you lost or you're high-fiving your buddies, don't forget we promised Adam all those caricatures. And Bonnet and Sandra have been tabulating these scores throughout the evening. There is a very convoluted process by which we do this. The long pose is worth like 25%, so I don't know. They change it every year because people get upset over who won, so they change the scoring every year. They're trying to get to the point where everything's a tie and it's not happening. Not angle art. Four minutes and 30 seconds and all of this pain is over. And that will be another draw on the board or nearly in the books. Thank you to everyone who came out. joined in We're here at the drawn and ordered live art event at the Brown Hoist building. This is the long pose. You know how, how long the long pose is? Long. So two and a half hours? Ish. Yes, paint, pastels, markers. Mm -hmm. 
Appreciate you joining, and we'll be joining you here soon on Tuesdays at 7.